بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم so today i wanted to look at the victory of yusuf alayhi salam and just what he said when in the end of his story and we know the story how it ended where he was victorious he's standing at his kingdom he's reunited with his family those brothers that conspired to kill him are now um uh, standing in front of him and he has the kingdom of egypt at his disposal he has the reuniting with his parents this is a a, a moment of true victory um and it's really insightful and powerful to study how he acted in this moment of triumph and what what were the words he said they're so powerful so strong there are so many lessons for us so first before he was reunited with his parents when his brothers they recognized him finally they said innaka la anta yusuf are you really yusuf and he said qala ana yusuf wa hada akhi yes i am yusuf and this is my brother then he said some series of words he says qad manna allahu alayna allah in uh bestowed his favors upon us then he said innahu man yattaqi wa yasbir fa inna allah la yudiyu ajra al muhsinin so the first thing he said those who have taqwa and sabr remember yesterday our our lesson was taqwa and sabr and isti'ana and tawakkul so yusuf had his victory after he survived all of these ordeals and triumphs uh, and these terrible circumstances slavery imprisonment um almost they tried to kill him abandonment separation from his family these are the worst things you can imagine that any human being can go through but at the moment of victory he says those who have taqwa and those who have sabr those two things that people need believers need to overcome their trials he says fa inna allaha la yudiyu ajra al muhsinin and then those who have these two qualities allah will never allow the work and the reward of these people to go to waste the, the people who are muhsinin and then he also said to them la tasriba alaykum al yawm he said there is no blame upon you what a moment of forgiveness yaghfirullahu lakum wa huwa arhamur rahimin so he said to those same brothers that did what they did with him He said there is no blame on you today Allah is most forgiving Allah will forgive you and he no grudges he um, it really was at that moment he forgot about the past and he said the past is in the past this is really remarkable la tasriba alaykum al yawm and this is actually the same thing that our messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was victorious in over Makkah the very similar circumstance he came to um when he was fath yawm fath makkah after entire life of struggle and being kicked out of his own uh homeland and his city he comes back and he's victorious the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he stood up at the kaaba this is his ultimate moment of triumph and he said he gave some he praised allah azza wa jalla and he said to them mada tanzuruna ya ma'shar quraish after he praised allah he said oh people of quraish what do you think what do you think that i would do now so they said to him um khaira you will do nothing but good akhun karim ibn akhin karim he said you are a noble person a noble brother of ours and the son of a noble brother so the same enemies now that they're vanquished now that the mercy of 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 the conquering army now their stance has changed so he said انا اقول لكم كما قال اخي يوسف i will say to you what my brother yusuf said لا تثريب عليكم اليوم he said those same words on fath makkah because he was really following the footsteps of yusuf and then when he was reunited with his parents at the end of the story verse number 101 that's the only one i want to focus on he said and this is the last verse in the story of mus of yusuf alayhi salam and after that surah yusuf continues but with general lessons so the last thing allah quotes yusuf alayhi salam rabbi qad ataytani min al mulk wa 'allamtani min ta'wil al ahadith fa'tir as samawati wal ard anta waliyyi fi ad dunya wal akhirah 
tawaffani musliman walhiqni bi salihin so musa uh, yusuf alayhi salam he says oh my lord you have given me the mulk the dominion the kingdom and you have taught me how to understand things understand scripture understand revelation understand dreams and then he said fatir as samawat so yusuf mentions three blessings in this verse two of them are worldly blessings and one is an otherworldly blessing the worldly blessings are mulk and are ilm so he had political power political dominion and he had knowledge and then he mentions another favor so these these are the best that a human being can hope for in this life what do people hope for even in terms of worldly uh, blessings you want wealth or you want authority right and his kingdom was not a political only we know he was in charge of the khazain so he had wealth he had the political uh, dominion of egypt at his disposal and he had ultimate knowledge so this is the best a human being can hope for the best of this dunya and the akhira so at this moment of triumph after he's praising allah he says oh allah oh my lord you're the one who gave me mulk you're the one who gave me knowledge you are the creator of the heavens and the earth you are my protector in this life and in the next tawaffani musliman walhiqni bi salihin then he mentions the last blessing blessing number 3 is the truth is the deen he said you are my protector in this life and the hereafter make sure that i die on a state oh allah i ask you to allow me to die on a state of submission to you and join me with the salihin so what are the three blessings he mentions this is the end of his story at his moment of triumph when people are victorious they usually become arrogant they usually have all sorts of uh conditions and and they celebrate but instead of celebrating yusuf alayhi salam is humble and he says allah you gave me mulk the kingdom you gave me knowledge and you gave me the guidance of truth the deen allow me to die on the state of islam and join me with the salihin now just the last thing i'll say well hikni bi salihin when someone's victorious now you have a status in sports when you have a team that wins when you, a team wins anything the world cup super bowl this and that they become victorious then you have celebrations and parades everyone wants to be like them but which victorious team or army when at the moment of victory says i want to be like those before me salihin so yusuf he has the best outcome you can imagine he has the ultimate victory he can say you know everyone should be like me he can point to his status and there's nothing wrong with being a leader of the believer wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama we make dua wallah make us imams for the muslims leaders models for the other believers nothing wrong with that but look at the ultimate uh, humility of yusuf at this moment of triumph for the whole world would um love to be in in the ranks or in the company of someone like him he says well hiqni bi salihin the last thing he says make me join those who were pious before us that's his forefathers um yaqub and ibrahim and ismail and ishaq and all the, the the righteous people that came before what a great lesson in humility for us may allah allow us to be this humble when we have our victories when we have Uh, our triumphs in this life may allah give us that sabr that yusuf had to overcome our trials sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam